I can understand each and every word that I am listening. I can understand everything that I am able to read. But the problem is that I am not able to reply to others or I am not able to speak English fluently. This is the problem that is faced by almost all the English learners. They can read, they can write, they can understand English but they could not even speak a single word in English. They use the process of translation and frame sentences in their mind but they will not be able to open up their mouth and give answers to the other person. This is the problem that we are going to discuss today. Let's get into the video. Hi Namaste, welcome back to Learn with Gautami channel. So, the first thing that you need to do when you are facing this problem is that you need to identify where the problem is. For example, there may be so many reasons why, why are you facing this situation. Because you know all the grammar rules, you know how to read English, you know how to write, you know how to reproduce your thoughts and you can understand English pretty well, but you are not able to speak. Right? So, first you need to understand where the problem lies. Either in your practicing or your listening skills or reading skills or writing skills, we need to think it. The problem is that during the process of writing, thinking, listening and reading, we have a lot of time so that these skills are very easy to adapt. But while coming to speaking, when we are in a conversation, we need to respond quickly within seconds before the other person speaks. Right? So, the gap between the question and the answer is very limited. In the time span, we need to give the answer and we are not able to do that because we don't have as much time available for the other skills. So let us address some of the issues and the solutions to overcome them. The first mistake everyone is doing is that focusing too much on grammar. They may be thinking whether they need to speak in past tense, present tense, future tense, would will come, could will come, should will come or what if they feel if I make more mistakes and what if they feel if I could not answer them properly? What if they feel if I use a lot of filler words? I think so they will underestimate me if I could not give the answer that is impressible by them. Right? We put a lot of questions to ourselves, think in the background and we do not have confidence to speak out even if we know the answer. We should not focus too much on grammar and what others think. You need to focus on your skill. You need to be confident and speak out. That is the way you are going to overcome your fear of speaking English. That is the way when you are going to come out of your comfort zone. Speaking is the biggest task. It needs a lot of guts actually. Once if you overcome this fear of speaking out then automatically it will be practiced to you it's obviously okay to make mistakes there is nothing wrong you can correct your mistake and you can be much fluent in english after correcting yourself because i told you many times that your best teacher is your last mistake that is the reason i made a uh, video on the silly mistakes i did also if you want you can check it out the link is in the description box that is the first issue that is addressed by everyone they are focusing too much on the grammar so please don't do that the next thing is that they are focusing too much on the tenses that they use mm -hmm. believe that you know enough english believe that you know enough grammar and enough english to speak don't pressure your mind while you are in a conversation be confident enough to speak okay and automatically your brain will help you a lot to speak English but you are the one who is uh, hesitant and you are not allowing yourself to speak out. So you need to tune your mind which is helping you a lot to speak. You need to help your mind in return by speaking out. The next issue is that so many people think a lot about what words to choose while speaking. They have a set of vocabulary but that vocabulary is in passive state. It is not in active state so that they cannot get the correct words while speaking English. And the other problem is that they have so many words in order to express their view and 
every time they get into a dilemma either to use this word or this word for example the room looks very dirty and the room looks filthy both are same the meaning is same but while coming to speaking they stop and they think either to use very bad or filthy so instead of dumping your brain with all the alternatives first make sure that you are able to get the correct word at the correct time to speak the best thing to overcome this problem is that whenever you are countering a new word make a habit of writing it in a book and add it into the vocabulary and follow all the steps that you need to do in order to remember that word for a long time and uh, use it regularly in your speech in order to know the steps clearly on how to expand your vocabulary i am going to put down the link in the description box check it out the next biggest issue uh, why someone is not able to speak is that they cannot frame sentences they know the words they know grammar they know which tense to use everything they know have everything ready but they don't know how to frame a sentence and speak it out it is like you are having all the ingredients with you but you are not able to cook it to make a complete dish right in order to prepare a complete delicious dish you need to add up all the ingredients one by one in the same manner if you want to speak out english fluently you need to make use of grammar vocab tenses and the way you express it everything you need to mix up and speak out when you are not able to do that how is it possible to speak fluently so in order to overcome this problem what you can do is that you can learn some of the basic english phrases and idioms that will be handy to you every time this is the superb trick that you can use anywhere write down the context learn some of the basic phrases at which context you can use them and practice them daily and it will be very comfortable to you to use whenever required and another tip is that if you know the schedule before you can be prepared for the situation right you don't have issue about thinking and putting your thoughts on paper right so when you are preparing yourself before you will be able to speak it out whatever you write you are going to practice it the before day so that the next day it will be very easy to you it is not that 100% they are going to ask those questions the thing is that you should not panic yourself and you must at least open your mouth in order to give them reply instead of being hesitant and uh, feeling dumb did you get my point so be prepared about the situation the next thing why so many people are facing this problem is that they are being in their own comfort zone they are not coming out of it this is the main problem that is faced by so many so many english learners they need to come out of their comfort zone they think that uh, why to put pressure on my mind what is the need if i go there and speak with them in english they want to speak english they want to involve in the conversation but due to lack of speaking skills and due to the fears they are having inside them they will not open up they will not come out of their comfort zone and they will hide somewhere they will just escape the situation which is a very bad idea if you are not involving in conversations then you will not get into the practice of speaking real life conversations right you need to be brave and address them show some courage face your fears and then only you are going to come out of your comfort zone try to come out of your comfort zone as early as possible otherwise it will be a very big task to you to achieve fluency in this english speaking journey another issue i found is that so many are afraid of using filler words filler words are words like ah uh, hmm all right uh it's okay these words that we use in between two words um see now what i used is a filler word did you get me for example this is a word a this is a word b in between these two words we take a gap in between so that we can think the next word right during translation process it is quite common to use more fillers than when we are thinking in english many people use so many filler words using so many filler words is not at all good because the listener will feel odd 
so in order to overcome the problem what you can do is that you need to think in english while you are in a conversation you should not translate the process but you need to think in english and one more tip is that you can use pauses whenever necessary okay a pause of 2 to 3 seconds is enough then you can automatically reduce the number of filler words okay we are in a society where people judge us all the time even if we speak english they judge us even if we are not in a position to speak english they judge us even if we are willing to speak english they judge us if we don't like to speak english they judge us people judge us however we are so why do you give so much importance when other people judge us okay i will do a separate video how to face when someone is judging you okay but right now the concept is that why are you not able to speak so inside you you are giving more importance to other people than your opinion right you are feeling fear that you may be judged by the other person and you are not speaking out so in order to overcome this problem you need to keep one thing in mind is that you you have some goals you need to achieve them whatever situations you are facing you need to achieve them okay there is no need to take other judgments into your heart just be focused on your journey and reach the target you want that is what you need to keep in mind every time another problem is that they are hesitant or shy or due to less confidence i have made one of the video how to improve your confidence while speaking english you can check it out one thing you need to remember is that there is only one life but there is a lot to learn and a lot to achieve right so why are you losing so many opportunities in this life with your shyness or by being less confident enough you need to be confident you need to be courageous you need to face everything in your life you need to overcome them then only you are going to achieve your target so don't feel shy hesitant and don't be less confident improve your confidence and show it whenever necessary the other biggest problem is that many english learners are still still practicing the process of translation in their mind you need to stop this process of translation in your mind and start thinking in english if you think in english automatically you will have that courage to speak in english because during this translation process you can't translate word to word sentence to sentence with the exact meaning that grammar is different this grammar is different you may not know the exact word of the word spoken by the other speaker right so stop this process of translation in order to stop this process of translation what you need to do is that you need to start thinking in english and you need to speak to yourself more you need to increase the time you need to quantify your time that you are putting into speaking you are making a lot of efforts to learn this beautiful language right so why don't you stop this process of translation from your native language to english the next problem is that so many of us know all the grammar rules but while speaking we cannot recollect them at the right moment so what we do is that we feel hesitant to speak out and we just close our mouth at that moment without expressing our views to avoid this situation what you need to do is that as i said earlier you need to write a lot you need to put your thoughts on paper trying to explain whatever you see and whatever you read in your own words reading more books listening more these tips will be helpful to you to reduce the grammatical mistakes and one more tip is that whatever you read whatever you listen if you find time try to say it aloud so that your sensory organs are very much at you and grasp the information faster now the biggest mistake everyone is doing everyone is doing is that they are waiting for the perfect time to speak in english they are waiting for perfection they think that after i become perfect in this skill after i become perfect in this theory then i will get into the practical that is speaking in english how is it possible all the four skills reading writing listening and speaking are equally important you can't skip the process of speaking and uh, practice all the three other three skills because they are easy it is wrong you need to start speaking from the day zero that is from today itself if you are watching this video right now and if you are facing this problem of not able to speak 
you need to start speaking right now okay you should not wait for the perfect time because the perfect time is never going to come some other people what they think is that they find excuses every time they just escape from the situation even though they want to involve in that situation they will not they just escape they may say that i have another important work or they may feel that uh, will they at least listen to my opinion what i will say they have a lot of questions running in their mind and they just find excuses in order to overcome this problem of finding excuses you need to set a realistic goal and work towards it you need to put your sincere efforts one more thing is that whenever you are getting a situation and whenever you are countering a situation where you need to speak in english they just speak out there is uh, nothing wrong he or she is not going to slap you if you speak something wrong in english right there is nothing worse going to happen keep that in mind and don't give blame excuses to yourself it means that you are blaming yourself don't do that one more problem is that many people compare themselves with other english language speakers we should not compare ourselves with others any time anywhere whatever may be the situation we should not compare ourselves coming to learning english also you should not compare yourself with other people other english speakers you need to focus on your path only be confident that you have enough english to speak the last and final thing is that whatever you do you need to open your mouth and speak then only you are going to overcome this process of facing this fear of speaking out you can frame sentences you can write essays in your brain and you can write uh, you can put wonderful thoughts on paper but when you are given only a limited time in a particular situation and you are asked to tell your point and if you have wonderful points what is the use if you are not able to express them in the right way did you get me you are an innovative person you have a lot of thoughts in your brain you have a lot of ideas in your brain you have a lot of knowledge in your brain the only thing is that you need to develop some communication skills and develop uh, speaking skills in english that is what you need to do so why to step back instead show some courage speak out make a commitment to yourself that you are going to speak at least half an hour daily on whatever topic on whatever that comes to your mind the only target is that you are going to speak at a stretch 20 minutes or at a stretch 10 minutes it's okay if you are making grammatical mistakes or it's okay if you are making uh, mistakes using um, past tense present tense it's obviously fine it's okay if you are using filler words but the target is that you need to speak if you practice it daily speaking speaking in front of the mirror this is the best idea this is the best tip you start speaking in front of the mirror or just take your phone and speak in front of the camera and start recording it after 10 to 15 minutes just stop it and see it by yourself then you will come to know you will address the issues that you are facing then in those areas you are going to work out on those mistakes right did you get me so in this way you are going to become fluent in english not only inside your brain but you can speak so i have delivered whatever i know and i have shared with you all the problems that i faced uh, previously and i am still in the process of learning Uh, so i think this video would be useful to you also if you are facing this particular problem of not able to reply when you are in a conversation let me know if you find this video useful in the comment section and please give it a like so that it will be shared to so many people who are in need of this video and share it to as many people as possible who are trying to speak english and do subscribe my channel which will be very useful to me also in order to improve my confidence and i would be more encouraged to do more such videos so that's it for today meet you soon in the next video